Hey there loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few of my easy, simple, go-to brunch recipes. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys this beautiful tablescape and everything that I use to create it. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely please stay tuned. For our first recipe, we're going to be making some egg muffins. I am not going to be using a cupcake pan. I'm going to be using a regular baking pan, but a cupcake pan is ideal for this recipe. I'm going to start off by cutting up some salami pieces, but of course you can use any meat of your choice. And then I'm going to fry my salami pieces. Salami is just like bacon, so you don't need to add any extra fat to the pan. It produces its own fat. So I am going to fry this until it is crispy to my liking and then I'm going to remove it from the heat and set it aside while we prep our other ingredients. Next, I'm going to be cutting up some broccoli, but of course you can use spinach or any other vegetable that you want. I am using frozen broccoli, so if you use fresh broccoli from a broccoli head, you want to make sure you go ahead and steam your broccoli first before you add it to the dish. Now it's time to prep our egg mixture. I am using five eggs for this recipe, but of course if you're making less, you can use less eggs, or if you're making this for more persons, you can use more eggs. I find that five eggs with all of the ingredients included can serve about six persons, or if you have a bigger appetite, it can serve three to four persons. So I'm going to add my eggs to my bowl and then we're going to season them. For my seasonings, I'm using garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, chili flakes, salt, just a little bit of salt, black pepper, and of course a splash of milk. Now you don't have to use milk and you don't have to use all those seasonings. You can use only salt and pepper if you wish, but I just find that it makes the egg taste a lot flavorful when I add these seasonings to my mixture. And for the milk, I find that it keeps the eggs or it makes the eggs nice and fluffy. So that is why I add milk to my egg mixture. I'm going to start off by greasing my pan with a little bit of butter, but of course you can use oil, any oil of your choice. I just chose to use butter, and then we're going to go ahead and assemble our ingredients. Of course, you don't have to do it in this order. This is just how I'm doing it. Now that our pan is nice and greased, I'm just going to go ahead and layer my ingredients. I'm going to start off with the broccoli, but like I said, you definitely don't have to go in this order, but I'm just putting my broccoli down as my base, and then I'm going on top with my fried salami, and I'm going to add some cheese, but if you guys want to keep this recipe dairy-free, you definitely can skip the cheese and skip the milk <laughs> but I'm going to add some cheese on top and I'm using two cheeses I find that the cheddar cheese just gives it that nice sharp zesty 
taste and then I'm going to go over it with a milder cheese and just add some white cheese on top of it but of course if you guys have parmesan cheese parmesan would be perfect for this recipe but add any cheese that you wish to after doing that I'm going to add my egg mixture on top and then I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit which is 172 ish degrees Celsius and I'm going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes or until I feel that it's firm enough if you want it not so firm of course you can lessen the time For our second recipe, we're going to be making some egg salad. Now, I know if you guys are familiar with my What I Eat in a Day videos, you probably know this recipe by heart. But we're going to be making some egg salad. And I didn't have any plain mayo, so I am using this mayo that has some seasonings in it. But I'm still going to add my own seasonings just to make it, you know, a little bit more flavorful. So I'm using my mayo, of course, mustard. If I can give measurements, I would say about... A tablespoon and a half of mayo and a teaspoon of mustard I'm using my garlic powder onion powder parsley chili flakes a little bit of salt just a dash some black pepper and that is it and I'm going to mix that and like I told you guys before in my previous videos if you've watched my previous videos I like to make my dressings first so that I know if I need extra seasoning before I add the other ingredients to it so I am going to mix this taste it and then tweak the flavoring by adding a little more of what I feel that it lacks after that we're going to just add our eggs mash them up and then transfer them to a pretty bowl and that is our egg salad now I am using four boiled eggs for this because I just didn't want to use too much eggs <laughs> this recipe is going to be more than enough for four persons if you make the exact amount but i didn't want to use too much because it is only for hubby and i For our third recipe, we're going to be making some granola yogurt parfaits. I just feel that every breakfast that is trying to be fancy <laughs> should have some granola parfaits. Like, if you love granola parfaits, this is definitely for you. So I am going to be cutting up a little bit of fruit for our ingredients to add inside them, but I'm also going to be using some of this fruit on the charcuterie board as well now if you guys can do this the day before i would definitely recommend doing it the day before because you use up less time and it's just less work the more things that you can probably get out of the way the night before or hand over to somebody else will definitely serve you as an advantage <laughs> The fruits I'm going to be adding to the parfait are the nectarines, a little bit of the kiwi, also the raspberries that I have in the back which are frozen and some mango, frozen mango pieces. The yogurt that I'm using is also a mango flavor and it's sugar free. Of course use whatever fruits you guys want, it is all up to your preference.
I'm going to start my parfait by layering the glass with the yogurt first and I want to apologize in advance because I did not realize that my hand was right in front of the lens. I do apologize. It does get better when I noticed it. <laughs> but I am going to start by layering my parfait with the yogurt and I'm using a small spoon so that I keep the glass as neat as I possibly can. Of course, I'm going to make a little spill, but I'm trying to make it as neat as I possibly can. Next, I'm going to be adding a few pieces of the fruit. Then on top of the fruit, I'm going to add my cereal. Yes, I said cereal. It is a granola kind of cereal. So that's why I chose to use that instead of buying granola. Use what you have. Most of the times you have something that you can substitute it with in your cupboard. So just use that, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to be using my cereal to go on top of the fruits. And then of course, we're going to layer it again with the yogurt, some fruits, and some more of that granola cereal. Before we assemble our charcuterie board, let's go outside and set the ambiance on the patio.
If you have made it this far, you guys are definitely the real ones. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed this yet, go ahead and subscribe. Also share this video if you think somebody could make good use of it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, I will see y'all in my next video. Tschüss.